Welcome into the Bassmaster Studios. We're here with Jeff Gustafson talking about a bait and technique that uh, has been popular the last few years, especially in the winter time down south, and that's what we would consider the Demiki rig. But you have a different name for it, and you said you guys have been doing that up north uh, for a long time now and in, in different seasons as well, not just early winter, late winter, that kind of deal. We have, it, uh, you know, up. I live in Lake on Lake of the Woods, uh, fish there, Rainy Lake a lot, and phenomenal smallmouth fish and we have some really good tournaments in the summer and uh, but this is something that you know a lot of local anglers are using up there I've uh, I've caught spotted bass with this down south um, caught largemouths with it at Lake Travis a few years ago really good doing it but uh, basically we're hanging these minnow baits on a you know a quarter or three eighth ounce jig head um, you know these minnow style this is a Northland mimic minnow head but you, you know, the, the realistic, you know, eyes, they all seem to help and putting these jerk shad type baits on them. And this is a Z-Man five inch uh, jerk, jerk shad. We use the four inch baits sometimes too, but the whole system is all about letting it down. You know, electronics are important, but we're using this anywhere from 12 to 40 feet of water. But when you get on top of fish with your boat, um, it's almost like ice fishing when we use it. We, we watch the jig on the screen and you always want to keep it above the fish. So if the fish are three or four feet off the bottom, you know, I want this bait to be two or three feet above the fish. And it seems like that's the number one like triggering um, thing with this, with this bait. Sometimes if you just like let it fall past the fish, it'll, you know, they know something's up. They don't like that. I always want to keep it above the fish. And then when you're, you know, when you get on top of them, it's, it's hold your rod like this. You know, we all wanna jig it and move it and do that. Uh-uh, you hold it still and when they come up and bite it, it's just like getting, it's just like that, like a punch in the arm. It's fun and, uh, and then the fight is on. Couple things, you know, you always want the eye of the, you know, the knot to be sort of vertical right off the eye. You don't want it forward or it's going to make the jig. And the way this, the buoyancy of this Z-Man plastic, it really makes that thing horizontal, natural in the water. And, you know, I've used every style of fluke bait there is. And over the last couple of years, um, and, and you see my buddies that have the tackle stores up around where I live, they sell more of these than anything else. They, they really do work. And, uh, you know, that's the smelt color. Smelt is the predominant bait fish up on these lakes where I'm fishing and uh, you know, that's, that's, that's it. It's a weapon. So we use it, you know, we've seen it in Tennessee in February, January, those lakes around there, it's, it catches on other deep clear lakes like Lanier and different things like that. But you guys use this in the summer. Obviously when your water's cold, it's so cold it's hard. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't get necessarily fish that winter that's time. You, you guys can fish it in the summer it's, though. It's the number one yes. bait by far in the fall <laughs> in leading into the winter. And, and our smallmouths up there, you know what, they, they're really spread out all summer. Some are shallow, some are out on main lake structure and that's, and we'll use this starting, you know, in July. Um, but, but into the fall, a lot of those fish that are, you know, six miles of shoreline, a lot of those fish compact into one place, one hump, one flat in the fall. And this, that's when these things really shine. But this came along, it got really popular around 2004, 2005 and Jim and Bill Linder, um, Ron Linder is their, is their father. They won the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship, one of our big Canadian tournaments, uh, two years in a row you, doing, using this style of bait. And they were actually holding the bait about 10 feet down under the boat over top of some of these humps that topped out at 15 or 18 feet. And they'd even drift off the sides of these things and it'd be 50 feet of water and they're catching these big smallmouths 10 feet down. Um, under the boat and it was all about you know you couldn't drive around necessarily and mark these fish but there was so much bait around these spots they were fishing the fish were there and uh, and they just stumbled onto this pattern and, and shared it they did some TV shows about it over the years but but Ron their father uh, called it moping and that's that so that's what we all call it up north we call the Demiki rig um, we just call it moping that's the technique and you you sit in the back of the boat and it's it's way better if your buddy's running the trolling motor because you can just sort of lean lean over in the back and you just hold your rod there and uh, 
It's kind of like kind of like a buddy that's getting his butt kicked. He's moping in the back. Or pout <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you guys didn't name it pouting. No, but <laughs> in all reality, yeah, it's a pretty simple technique. You don't need a bunch of action to it. You're just going to nope. just stick your rod straight out and let the bait do its deal suspending over those fish. And I guess they just can't resist a, a bait fish that's not scared of them. Yeah, and it's just it's the profile of, of what they're eating and uh, just something that, that you know, I'm sure would work any anywhere across North America where bass are eating bait fish. I mean, it, it, that's that's a bait fish. So it's you know, figure out how to present it to them, and uh, you're probably going to catch some fish. Well, there you go, the Demiki rig, as we call it down south, or moping, as they call it up north in Canada and Minnesota and those lakes up there. Uh, try that out. Maybe in the summertime. We talk about it in the winter, but it works just as good in the summer. Yeah.